ladies and gentlemen, welcome to part four of our how to create custom kits for FIFA 23. Today we're going to cover how to put in a third kit. Now I must stress, this is a little bit of a glitch to get this to work. Um, but it is the way I do it. You can only add one third kit. You can't go and add uh, multiple. There's probably a way to do that, but we're not going to cover that today. Uh, but I must stress, always make a backup save before you start doing this kind of stuff, all right? Uh, we're going to cover doing an English team today so we can look at competition kits as well. Uh, so I've made a, uh, a third kit here for um, a good friend, Flaky. If you haven't checked out his FIFA content, please do go and check out his channel. We've uh, made our kit. And we have downloaded it and we're ready to make our mod. Right, so to add this third kit, we're doing a little bit of a glitch. What you need to do is come down to your kit folder and I want you to look for default. Uh, it's not a team, default, and look for the home kit. You're gonna go through uh, with all your downloaded assets and replace just about everything here, just as we did uh, in the previous tutorial. So if I uh, just double click the jersey, you can see that it's been imported. Now, because this was a default kit, we do need to update the hotspots. So what you want to do there is go to the team that you're playing with, which for us is uh, Grimsby Town. Go to the home kit, double click on the hotspots. Right click and copy here. Come back up, your home kit. Open this one, right click, paste. And that's updated the hotspots. For the mini kit, you're going to have to come into kits Scroll all the way to the bottom, and there'll be one here called Not Found. It'll be all white at the moment. Just replace that one, and that'll be your third kit mini icon. Save the mod as we have done in the previous tutorials. The next thing you're going to need is, of course, RDBM. Right, so once we've opened up our save, if we look for our team here, which is 92 in this uh, Team Tech ID, uh, usually it'll be 0, 1, and 2. What I've done here for the third kit is actually look for a team kit ID from an ultimate team. Uh, so it's there in the background, but it wouldn't have been in career mode. Uh, originally, this team uh, would have had a, a not found issue. So if you want, try this one out, 13425, look that one up. Then you'll change this third column to the number three. That's all you need to do on the team kits. The next one, if you are using a league that uses competition kits, you'll need to add the third kit here as well. So come down to competition kits, slide all the way over to the right, and the Team Tech ID, search for 92. Now, I've already added it here. All you need to do for this one is find the zero next to the number that you want, scroll all the way back to the start, and that should click this little uh, side here, and that will select the entire line. I want you to use copy record, scroll down to the bottom until you find a whole heap of zeros, depending on if you've uh, sorted it. So there's a whole heap of zeros, click one of these tabs and hit paste, and that will uh, paste a copy of the home kit uh, numbers. Now, don't worry about that just yet. It would have put it in, but we do need to make some edits. So click back in your team tech ID, and when you come down in 92, you've probably got two here that have number zeros. Pick one of them and change it to a number three. That should add the third kit into this table. And then I want you to hit save. Right, once that's saved up, uh, get back to your team kits. And of course, you are going to export as we did in the previous tutorials. And we also will need to export the competition kits. Right, leave that open. Come back to your kit creator and open a team kits editor. Open team kits. Type your team in and now we've got that third kit showing up. Now it's all out of whack compared to the home kit. It doesn't have the right graphics or anything like that. We can sort that out shortly. But because we're doing the competition kits, come back and open up another version of that team kits editor. This time open competition kits. Type your team number in. And now that third kit's sitting there as well. They are a little bit different. We are going to focus on the team kits first. So let's load up that settings file. Now, what you will need to do is uh, it's obviously got the wrong fonts and wrong numbers. So basically just flick between home and third and uh, get those numbers and colors all sorted that you want. So we need font 49, number 23, and 89. 
If it doesn't show up properly, you can just up and down and it usually resets itself. No? Come on. There we go. Okay. So, of course, look at your kit. We're using a red kit so we can go with white numbers. We can go with white numbers on the shorts. White and red. White and black. Uh, fix up these, of course. So uh, let's get the black in there. And let's get the white here. That I like to do 70, 20, 10. Now you also need to look at the captain's armband. So we've gone 14, 61, 61 for the sleeves. 14, 61, 61. Just check everything else is the same in regards to placements. Uh, also check down the bottom that they're kind of matching up. That should be three, of course. That should be home. All right. So we know the team kits is looking like it's in a good spot. Now what we need to do is come across here to our third kit and just copy the data that we've put in here. So font 49. 2389, 2389, yep, uh, and then we've gone white, red, copy these over, so that they are the same. Looks all good to me. Scroll down the bottom. Competition ID should be same as the captain's armband, I believe. Right. So we should be able to save that one. Save that one. Come back to RDBM. Now we need to import that team kits file and import competition kits file. Now we save that up again. Right, once it's ready, let's load up FIFA and see if it's worked. Right, so if we come across to customize, of course, to change your, your kit selection, let's hit change kit. Have we done it? Yes, we have. So now we have the alternate kit available. Uh, looks all right. Let's jump into a game and just uh, check the kit out. So you can see here, it's popped up with all the little mini kits, which is nice to see. Right, so we've done uh, what looks to be okay. Uh, the colors are working on the scoreboard. Let's zoom in and check out the kit. Right, there we go. Number's correct. Uh, name is correct. Everything looking pretty switched on. Captain Armband is correct. And uh, League 2 badges. So uh, looks like we're in a pretty good form. So there we go. That's how I add a third kit. Have a go. Any questions, uh, put it down in the comment section. And uh, we'll see you in another tutorial very, very soon. I'm Sparring DK. It's 5 o'clock somewhere. And you, have a good one. The Sparring DK channel now has Patreon, and if you feel like just going that little extra step to help, uh, you know, the channel grow, you can go across to the website, pledge your allegiance to myself, and uh, for $1 a month, you're basically putting it in a jar and allowing for us to go and buy some more beers and record some more beer drinking episodes. Thank you very much to the current lads that have gone ahead and supported the channel. Absolutely tremendous to see anybody willing just to give that $1 a month at this stage. I cannot thank you from the bottom of my heart. You, you really will make a difference in the future. So jump across there if you're that way inclined to the Patreon channel, sign up today, and we'll see if we can get some extra beer drinking episodes for you at home. Now, if you are looking for some more content, we've got a couple of videos, one here, one here, and if you want to subscribe, there's a button right there. So go ahead, subscribe, and you'll be notified when the videos...